guys, in this video I will be showing you how to make this origami 3D minion in celebration of the new minions movie that is coming out. A lot of you guys have been asking me to create some 3D models, so here's one just for you. Uh, let me know in the comments whether you plan on seeing this movie or not. I personally love minions, I think they're quite cute and adorable. And this here is Stuart, by the way, he has just one eye. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, give this video a thumbs up, please subscribe for more tutorials in the future, and I will see you guys soon. To make the origami 3D minion, you'll need 242 total sheets of paper. These are 3 centimeters by 8 centimeters each, and you'll need 128 blues, 96 yellows, and 18 blacks. You'll also need a little minion eye, of course. You can print these out or you can draw your own, but it should be around 5 centimeters in diameter. And then finally, you'll need a glue gun with a glue stick, and these will be used to glue the minion eyes to the body. So now that we have everything, let's get started. So we're going to start off with just the first sheet of paper, fold it in half, and then crease it in. Unfold, and then align this bottom right hand side to the vertical center crease. Just fold it upwards diagonally and crease it in. Then repeat the same thing on the left side. Fold it upwards diagonally and crease it in. After that, flip the unit over and then fold this bottom left hand corner diagonally to this horizontal crease. So just fold it upwards like this and crease it in. Then repeat the same thing on the right side. After that, fold these bottom sides over here and align it with the horizontal crease right up there. So just fold it up and crease it in. Repeat on this side. And then finally, just fold the entire unit in half like this. And that is how you make one triangle unit for 3D modular projects. And just repeat this 242 times. So once you've created all the units, you are ready to assemble the minion. So we're to start off with the first two rows, and each one of these has 16 units. So if you take a look at one of these units, you'll notice that there are two slots, one on the left and one on the right, and there are also two tabs, so one on the left and one on the right. So to put these together, all you have to do is take the tab of one of the units and slip it into the two slots of the other unit. So I'm going to take this tab right here and slip it onto the right side, like this. And I'm going to take another one and slip it into the left slot, like that. So now you have two units in row one, which is the bottom, and one unit in row two, which is the top. So then you're just going to continue doing this until there are 16 in row one and 16 in row two. So just slip that in. So now you have two in row one and two in row two. So now you have three in row one and three in row two. So now you see there are 16 in row one and also 16 in row two. Now what you want to do is you want to draw them together so that it forms a circle shape and then connect these two pieces right over here. So draw them together carefully and connect the two pieces. And now you have a little starburst shape right over here. And then you're just going to continue adding 16 units to row 3, 16 units to row 4, and also 16 units to row 5. So now I'm done with 5 rows of 16. And now next what I'm going to do is I'm going to just push these sides downwards like this. So that this bottom part here opens up. And now the side view should look like this. So now we're going to work on row number 6 which requires 5 blues, 3 yellows, 5 blues, and then 3 yellows. So now I have something that looks like this. 
So now we're going to work on rule 7 which requires 6 blues, 2 yellows, 6 blues, and 2 yellows. So we're going to slip the blue one right in between the yellow and the blue one right here. Just like that. And then just go around. Okay, now you're completely done with row 7. So now we're going to work on row 8, which requires 5 blues, 3 yellows, 5 blues, and 3 yellows. So you're just going to take the blue and slip it right here. And then go around. So now we're done with row 8 and you'll see that there are 3 yellows, 2 yellows, and then 3 yellows. And then the rest is blue. So now we're going to work on row number 9. And row number 9 is just going to be one layer of 16 blues. So now we're completely done with row number 9 and we're going to work on row number 10. And row number 10 is just one layer of 16 yellows. We just completed row number 10, which is 16 yellows, and now we're going to be working on row number 11, which is also 16 yellows, and row number 12, which is 16 yellows. So now that we're done with the three rows of yellow, we're going to be working on row number 13, which is 16 blacks. So now that we're done working on row number 13, which is 16 blacks, we'll be working on rows number 14 and 15, and each one of these rows requires 16 yellows. So after you're done with rows number 14 and 15, which are the two yellow rows, you are ready to make the minion hands. So for the minion hands, you need two black units. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that this opening is facing the right side. And then you're going to align this top tip over here with the bottom side of the triangle. So just fold it straight down like this and crease it in. And then you want to take this left side over here and fold it over to the right side like this. So now you have something that looks like this. Then you're going to unfold the two folds that you just created. And then basically just open this part up like that and reverse these folds. So essentially you're going to reverse this fold over here, fold it inwards. And also this one over here. And then on this side you're going to push inwards. So fold this one down, reverse that, and fold this one down like that. And then once you have this shape in place, looks like this from the bottom, you're just going to flatten everything so that it looks like this. See how everything flattens nicely into somewhat of a zigzag shape? So once you've done that, you're ready to create the other one. And once you've created the two hands, you just want to stick it right into the center of this yellow part right over here. Just stick it right in like that. Repeat the same thing on this side. And after that, you're going to take your glue gun and glue the eyeball right in the middle of the minion's face. And once the glue has dried, you are completely done with your origami minion. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know what tutorial you'll like to see next. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I post new videos all the time and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!